Hey everyone, today we're going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the VKB MCG Pro and the VKB MCG Ultimate. I've been getting a lot of questions about how they compare and since I happen to have both on hand, I figured we would do a quick rundown of the changes. My MCG Pro was from the original run years ago and I always thought it was a little too light and noisy for my taste. I was switching from a Warthog at the time and preferred something with a little more weight in the hand. The buttons also gave off a higher pitch pinging sound when clicking which made it sound cheaper than it really was. The size of the handles is practically identical but the weight is dramatically different given the construction materials. The first and most obvious change is the all metal design of the Ultimate versus the plastic design of the MCG Pro. This gives the joystick a much heftier feel and it just feels sturdier all around. The MCG Pro always creaked a bit if I started to grip too tightly in the heat of combat. The Ultimate is absolutely solid with no give at all, it feels really firm in the hand. The finish of the MCG Ultimate is an electroplated coating inside and out which is then powder sprayed to feel slightly rough to the touch. If we give the joysticks a tap you can hear how much more solid the Ultimate sounds overall. Both the Ultimate and Pro have the metal brake and flip trigger, but the more solid construction on the Ultimate allowed VKB to increase the amount of force required to activate both. In comparison, the Pro's brake lever is almost too easy to depress and the flip trigger can snap back on its own with very little pressure. The Ultimate is much better now in this regard. I went ahead and weighed the Ultimate versus the Pro and even threw in a Verpal Alpha for a comparison. The Ultimate came in at a whopping 590 grams, the Pro weighed 331 grams, and the Verpal Alpha was in between at 503 grams. I'll put a card up top that lists the weight of all the joysticks I own if you're interested in comparing them to others. I tend to like heavier sticks so I much prefer the weight of the Ultimate. Now keep in mind that you may need to bump up your spring tension or use a larger dead zone if you're using really light springs as it may take a bit more tension to bring back to center. I tend to use double 40s on each axis of the Gunfighter Mark III when I use my VKBs, so it wasn't really an issue for me. The MCG Ultimate has a soft rubber palm grip pad which is cast to a plastic base that is actually screwed into the metal grip. This gives the grip a soft, comfortable feel and prevents it from getting too hot or too cold in different temperatures. The MCG Pro has a similar knurled palm grip but it's all plastic. The buttons on the MCG Ultimate have been updated and are all long travel with tactile click and are almost silent now in comparison to the MCG Pro. The main trigger is red now and also appears to extend out further, making it a bit more comfortable to squeeze. Let's have a listen to the button sounds on both sticks. The MCG Pro buttons are very pingy and hollow sounding compared to the Ultimate buttons which are almost silent with a soft sound. As for accessories, the MCG Ultimate also comes with muted mill style black button caps which are user replaceable without a need to open the casing. It also comes with ring finger extenders as well as a screwdriver and a pair of alternate hats. The ring finger button on the MCG Ultimate has been updated. Previously, VKB had mixed feedback where people found it tricky to press while others wanted the opposite. The solution was to extend the travel but they also made it concave to prevent accidental pressing. To make the button easier to press, you can apply one of the provided rubber nibs that have an adhesive backing to increase the height. I have mine configured here with the taller rubber nib but there are two different sizes included. Some of the hats have also increased in size on the Ultimate, making them easier to manage. One major improvement though is the fact that the Ultimate now comes with modular hats that can be replaced by simply removing two screws and swapping them out. It comes stock with two analog mini sticks, but they can be swapped out for the included four-way standard hat switches. The replaceable hats are keyed and can only go in one direction. And the black box firmware also recognizes when they have been switched, so no modification to the profile is required. VKB also added two programmable LEDs similar to the Cosmo SEMA. They are shaped differently for better identifying which one is lit if only one is currently lit. 
Neither of my units have twist, but my understanding is that the twist mechanisms are the same if you opt for that. There was a post made by VKB on their announcement page where they indicated the twist from the MCG Pro could be swapped over to the Ultimate without issue. I think that's everything. If I've missed something or if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful in any way, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content in the future. Thanks for watching.